It was 1980, a new decade, and the savior of the universe from 1934 would appear once again on the big screen. Flash. Hello toy collectors and YouTubers, this is Film School 93 with another Authentic Legends and Collectibles toy review. In today's toys, we'll be reviewing Big Bang Pow action figures from the movie Flash Gordon, this time featuring actor Sam J. Jones as the hero and Max Von Sato as the evil Emperor Bing. I also might add that this movie was notable for its soundtrack composed, performed, and produced by the rock band Queen. All right, let's start off with Flash Gordon. Like how they did this design here uh, from the major motion picture. I like how they did this snippet here from the movie, and just a great layout. Um, yeah, we'll also look at the top here, entertainment exclusive, so you can't beat that. <laughs> let's go ahead and take a look on the side, make sure that there's no bent tear. But uh, yep, there's a real big bent here, and I notice that this is not at this real flexible card than the usual uh, card here. He looks good in the bubble. Nothing's wrong. Let's go and take a look on the side once again. Real warped, real bent. It's very uh, flimsy. Not very uh, tough cardstock, if you will, but that's that's okay. Uh, let's take a look at the back. Flash Gordon there. Collect them all, and then here's all the action figures. I just got the two main characters of the deal, and here's a real good look of the vintage poster art here on the side. I like that. And then if you take a look here at the top, this is an exclusive edition. So we got 4008 is my number out of 4408. So yeah, there you go. <laughs> that's pretty awesome, isn't it? There he is on the card. Now we have uh, Ming, Emperor Ming on the card. Once again, they did a great job with the Flash Gordon logo right there, a little picture from the movie, and then there's his name at the bottom. This is looking really good. Once again, exclusive from Entertainment Earth, and let's take a look here at the side. Once again, it's bent a little bit here. It's real flexible, real flimsy, kind of got some scratches there. And Oh, wait a minute. Ah, oh, man, that wasn't glued right. Something happened, so... Yeah, there's a little bit, there's a, there's a bent right there on the bubble there too, so not very good on that one. Uh, let's take a look here at the back, once again, collect them all, and then put the poster on the side, there, looking good, and then here we are, another exclusive edition. My number is 1041 out of 1448. Gotta like this. They did a great job. And, of course, Flash Gordon, his snippet on the back, an American football star, yada, yada, yada. You can read that real quick. Not a big deal. So there you have it. <laughs> but once again, they did a great job on the on the card here. And you know, just, they, they do, you know, it looks really good. I like this. Uh, here he is in the card. All right. I noticed that they're doing a – he's in, actually set them in a bubble. Can you see this? This is kind of like the old uh, Kenner – uh, superpowers where they put them in there. Let's go and take a look at this. Ah, Flash Gordon looking good. Like the sculpt. Almost looks like the uh, cross between the movie and the original uh, comic strip. And man, that that yellow hair is bright. Look at that. <laughs> but I like, the, I like the look on this. It looks really good. They did a good job. Uh, notice there's a scrape of paint off his nose. So, nah, I, kind of a let down. Not a big deal, though. Now, let's go and take a look at the articulation. Notice that the elbow moves as well as the arm. So this isn't your average five-point articulation. Let's go ahead and do it right here again on this arm, and then he kind of bends at the... Uh, let's go and bend his legs here. There you go. And then you're going to bend him at the knees. Once again, uh, Kenner Vintage Superpowers meets uh, Star Wars line, if you will. But that, I think that's kind of neat. That's how they did this. This is really cool. Uh, right there again, just kind of bending at the arm. And uh, I like that. I'm, I'm impressed. I like this a lot. And let's go and turn his head. Make sure it turns. And there you go. Flash Gordon's ready to to battle. And his accessory that he comes with is uh, it's pretty cool. It's this big old um, space uh, shotgun. Not shotgun. A machine gun. I don't know. I, I forgot the name of it. If they mention the movie, I, it just my mind slips on that. But he looks great, ready to fight uh, Emperor Ming. And here is Flash Gordon off the card. Here is Emperor Ming. Now, they did not miss a beat on that detail. I'm impressed. Look at the glitter, how it shines within the paint. And this isn't the glitter just going to flake off. It's actually in the paint, so there's no worries about anything coming off. I mean, look at this, how the light hits this. You Look at the design. Amazing. It's just awesome how they did this. I really like this one a lot. And let's take a look at his arm. Okay, this arm moves once again, and then at the elbow as well. And let's go and move this arm as well, and... Wait a minute, it's getting stuck. It almost acts like it's going to break off right here. So I am going to be very careful and not do this. I don't want it to break. So this looks really good. That yeah, and the bends of the arm. Let's go and move his head. His head can't move, obviously. So we'll just leave that alone. And then there's the vintage uh, Kenner, like the Emperor, uh, or Obi Wan Kenobi legs right there. So this looks good. His accessory is his staff. And if it had a name, I totally excuse me. See, that hand can open it. You can't put it in there, but you can put it definitely in this hand. So there you go. Here he is. 
waiting for Flash Gordon to come in and they pretty much kick his butt. <laughs> but I really like how they did this with me. I mean, it just looks excellent. The detail is phenomenal. I like this actually better than Flash Gordon, if you ask me. They did a really good job on this. And here is Flash Gordon and Ming ready to battle it out. Once again, the detail is great on these. If you're looking for the vintage Kenner and slash vintage uh, superpowers, then these are the ones for you. They did a great job. This isn't like all major articulation, but it does have the basics, if you will. And they just did a good job. So I highly recommend you picking these up today. You can get these action figures for $11.99 each at Entertainment Earth, where they have great customer service, fast shipping. Just click on the link below in the description and go straight to their website and buy the Flash Gordon action figures today. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. And in the meantime, MTFBWY, always.